Yes, thank you. Hello once again. My name is Samuel Lakonde. My I just have short um, stuff to mention to talk about concerning the Gulf of Guinea. Uh we can go to the next slide, please. Thank you. As a PhD student, I've been able to identify some problems. No, that's not okay. That's not a slide. Yeah. Uh, problems regarding to the Gulf of Guinea, and we have there that listed also on the uh, file that was shared to us as regards the environmental pressures. So, going to the next slide, please. We have I will begin to identify some issues on the coastal flooding, and also you can go continue, please. Go ahead, please. And this is Lagos coastal flooding and the sea level changes. And globally, we have issues of the sea level rise, and we, we all we are aware of what is going on as regards the sea level and how fast it's increasing. Next slide, please. I was able to identify this using the satellite images, and I was able to look at the NDVI, the, the degradation of vegetation across the coastal areas. So I was able to get some, uh, um, some uh, coastal cities, Abidjan, like Accra and uh, some other cities around, looking at the rainfall trend and um, the NDVI, looking at the trend of the rainfall and NDVI, another parameter. So I can't put all the um, analysis I've done so far. Now, why am I doing this? Please come go on to the next slide. Thank you. Hello. We also have the storm surges. We have so many other. So we can go go on to the next slide. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Thank you. This is just for the SST, looking at the historical information about the surface temperature over the Gulf of Guinea and some other coastal cities too. Like my former uh, uh, presenter said, he said earlier presenter said that uh, you work, talk about the sparsity of data. We have that issue, and I want to make this uh, uh, request that more focus should be given to PhD and masters researchers that are working over this area. It really help the the network and also please can go to the next slide go to the next slide please yes solutions for effective management all right okay thank you that is it yeah we, i want to make this request that that should be early career researcher network among the msc networks in the Gulf of guinea is very very important it will help us to foster collaborations some of us meet like uh, michelle now we met her in uh, canada in 2018 for cc IPCC conference with what we often meet in conferences present and that is almost all we have not really tried to collaborate to work together as researchers working over this area i can i have searched in my four years of PhD research in Nigeria, here, I don't think we have up to 50 articles published across the Gulf of Guinea. I'm not sure of that. I'm not sure of that. And we can have more. Can have more. So my 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 request is that there should be more focus on researchers working on the Gulf of Guinea. It's very, very important. Then we should that should be organized, we should organize events as required, uh, maybe the regional meetings or conferences that will bring together researchers. Thank God, thank uh, thank the organizers of this program and thank organizers of, uh, of Takova. We have Takova that's for, for calls at the uh, University. I've attended like twice. And also coercing that's of course also in Ghana, University of Ghana, I've been there twice also. Now we want to have more of that so that we can on on frequent occasions, look and assess the Gulf of Guinea and work on how we can uh, we can send out all these uh, results from the analysts to the policymakers. It's very, very important for us to break the gap of the analysts and the policymakers, very, very important. Then we have to create awareness to public, to 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 the to the people living in the area they are very they are vulnerable to the coastal flooding to some surges and all these pressures they are the ones that are affected a lot in that area then we should incorporate resilience to environmental pressures it's very very important for us to decide to plan ahead of the future occurrences yes how can we achieve this we need to plan we need to act on it we need to do and we need to check i check that checking is the assessment we have to monitor maybe uh, annually seasonal monitoring of the the, the wetland of the so many uh, uh, information about the coastal the sea level level rise and even the climate extremes we need to monitor this on Daily or annual on decadal disease, even on centenary disease like climatic disease, disease, it really help us to know what and what we have and how we can plan the the area to, for the MSC to be successful. Thank you very much.